Good morning. So welcome back or welcome to Yoga with Kira. Um, this is day 20 of wonder. So like the last month, somebody reminded me, like we did triangles way back in the beginning and we were doing lunges and we were doing our arms and then we got into elephant and then we went down onto the floor into pigeons. And it's been really very wonderful. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I've been really dwelling on this notion that, you know, this time of year, you don't have to be happy. Happy isn't the goal. It's like really being with deep winter, you know, meet your deep winter um, outside, inside, um, value the, the sensations that emerge in deep winter, you know, light your candle and, you know, sit with light in the dark, um, you know, connect to people and resource yourself, but really go kindly. This is, you know, the dark, the deep, uh, the stillness, it does something to us. So resourcing kindly, lighting candles, connecting, all really important. And you don't have to be happy, okay? You just have to be in it, okay? Um, so great, we are going to do elephant today. Maybe some triangles. Somebody was talking about triangles yesterday and I was like, oh, triangles. So great, come. So starting on the, your bum, and just start by rocking your bum by lifting one bum and then the other bum. And as I do that, I'm going to start squeezing. As I lift the right bum, I'm going to squeeze my right shoulder down. So I'm a coordinating while sitting here. So a coordination. And how much of a squeeze can you create? And how much length can you create on the other side? Can you include your head? Or does your head go in the opposite direction? Wow, that's really hard to go in the opposite direction. I don't know how to do it. <laughs> yeah. So the bum that's lifting, my head is going in that direction. Notice that when you try and do the other way, it doesn't really work. Ah, oh. <laughs> nice. And then roll your shoulders, big circle. And then in the other direction. So if we just did a coordination with our shoulders, and just draw one elbow down and then the other, and maybe reach your hand up. So now we're not moving our hips, but we're moving into a coordination. So my bum is staying flat on the floor and I'm squeezing one side, lengthening the other, I'm squeezing one side, lengthening the other. I have no idea if this is gonna work, okay? So lift your left bum and then reach the right hand up towards the ceiling and try and pull your left elbow down. So you're now doing advanced coordination. <laughs> wow, that's very cool. Can you pause with your bum in the air? And then pause with your bum in the air. Nice, cool, draw a circle with your belly. Big circle with your torso. My hands are resting on my knees and I'm just rolling deeply into my thighs. Or, well, yeah, my belly towards my thighs. And then roll in the other direction. Nice, cool. Just drop your head down one way. Wiggle your toes, wiggle your fingers. Wiggle your eyebrows. Nice, drop your ear down the other way. Wiggle your toes, wiggle your fingers. Oh, wiggle your eyebrows. Nice, turn your head towards the left. Wiggle your toes, maybe wiggle your eyebrows, maybe wiggle your fingers. Nice, turn your head towards the right. Wiggle your toes, maybe your fingers, maybe your eyebrows. Nice, uh, cool. So come into your cat pose all the way over. And so just rounding your back and arching your back. Rounding your back, arching your back. Rounding your back and arching. Nice, reach the right hand forward as far as you can. 
and you're trying to get your torso as low to the floor, almost like you're reaching underneath the couch, okay? And then the other side, reach your left hand as far forward as you can, trying to reach under the couch. Nice. And then bring your right hand out towards the right. So it's actually easier to reach underneath the couch when you're going sideways. So it's almost like my shoulder will get really low to the floor and I can get my face quite low so I can see under the couch. Usually at this point, you'll notice all the dirt on your floor. <laughs> the cobwebs underneath your couch. Nice. Check the other side for dirt. <laughs> so reach your left arm long. Spaces down close to the floor. And coming back. Nice. And then the shoulder shrug. Just shoulders forward and backwards. I'm not really moving my spine. I'm not doing the cat pose. I'm just squeezing back, pushing forward. Mm, squeezing back, pushing forward. Nice. Reach your right hand over towards the left at a 45 degree angle. So over as far as you can. So it's in front of my fingers. And then reach your right hand underneath your armpit so your shoulder comes down. Right hand in front of your fingertips. And then right hand under your armpit. Let's leave your right shoulder land on the floor. And just pause. Nice, come all the way back up. Other side, reach the left hand 45 degree angle and then reach the left hand underneath your right armpit. Left hand all in front, left hand under, pause there. Shoulders on the floor, right hand is scaffolding so my elbow is above my hand and I'm really feeling this really awesome twist into my torso. Nice, come all the way back. Cool, we're gonna come into elephant. So if you want to put something a little bit more underneath your knees, you can. Uh, you can fold your yoga mat up. You can put a blanket underneath your knees. And just start by sitting your bum back and then pushing your hips forward. Sitting your bum back. You're not quite sitting all the way down. And then pushing your hips forward. Nice, sitting your bum down pushing your hips forward. So in elephant, it's the pushing your hips forward that is happening. So bring your left hand to your left thigh or the side of your, your bum, and then reach your right hand across. So start with a small elephant. So it's just directly across. I'm not back bending. And then left hand travels across. So notice, and how would you begin to gently and steadily increase the movement? I like rounding forward because then I recommit to the pushing forward of my hips. Whereas if I stay backwards, I tend to turn off my hips a little bit. Whereas forward and then backwards, forwards. I create connection down into your fingertips. I'm pushing my hand into my thigh behind me as I begin to feel the elastic connection of my body. I'm feeling it. Next side that you come to, pause. So you shouldn't be too deep. If you're too deep, then come out of it a bit and just create connection there. Nice. Other side, pause. Again, don't go too deep. Time is a stress. And all the way back. Nice. Push back into your downward dog. And just begin to cycle your legs. So I'm feeling this urge or this like loveliness of stretching into my toes. I'm folding my knee or bending my knee and really leaning into the toes as I push them into the floor and then leaning into my heels as I pull them backwards. Really alivening, awakening, connecting to my legs. Nice. Drop your knees down. Cat drop. <laughs> Push back into your downward dog. Drop your knees down. Cat drop. Push back. Downward dog. One more time. Drop your knees down. 
and pushing back. Nice. Knees come to the floor. So we're going to do the cat kick. So keeping your spine steady, draw your right knee towards your right elbow and then bring your right foot behind you. So I'm not moving my spine. My head's not moving. I'm trying not to let my lower back move too much. Now let your spine move a lot. Nice. Great. Knee to the floor. Other side. Draw the left knee forward. Don't move your spine. And now let your spine move. Yeah. It's very nice feeling the difference between the two. I'm like, wow, so cool. Super. So we're going to do the side angle thing. So I'm going to start here. So bring your two feet so they're wider than your mat. So you keep your knees where they are and you step your feet out to the sides. Okay. And then you're going to stretch the right leg long and bring your right hand to your right hip. So I'm sideways and my left foot is off the mat behind me. And that's going to give me stability. And now reach your right arm long. So there's a sense of Really extending from your toes and even lift your toes off the floor as you get super long. Bring your elbow to your knee and your knee to your elbow and then get super long. So your knee is going forward and then long. Forward and then long. Nice. Bring your right hand to your hip and then just lift your right leg up and down. Nice. And then, oh, we've got to do this one. So rising up. So your left knee is on the floor, reach your left hand up towards the ceiling and then reach your right hand down towards your right knee. Nice. And then we're going to do elephant here. Left hand across, right hand across. Feel how the organization of your legs and your pelvis are utterly different as we elephant here. So interesting. <laughs> cool. Both hands to the floor. Push back into your downward dog, all the way back. And again, stretching into your legs. Nice. Both knees to the floor, bring both feet wide and then stretch the left leg long and bring your left hand to your left hip. Okay. Reach the left arm long beside your ear, super long, even lift your left foot off the floor and then bring your elbow forward and your knee forward, let them touch and then reach long with your foot, long with your arm, touch, long. How long can you actually get? So rather than just having your leg there, can you get super reachy into your fingers and your toes? Super reachy. <laughs> I think that's a new word. Super reachy. <laughs> Hands to the hip and then lift your right left leg up and down. How high does your leg go? <laughs> nice. Rising up. Reach the right hand up towards the ceiling and lean over towards the left, sliding the left hand down your knee. Nice. And then elephant. Wow, my balance is really, really weird here. Feel it? What does it feel like to you to do elephant here? Nice. One more time each side. Super cool. Calm down. I don't think we're going to do a triangle. Sorry, guys. All that excitement and then suddenly I don't follow through. <laughs> Come sit on your bum, stretch your legs long and just rub your knees. 
wiggle your toes. Sorry to the triangle lovers out there. <laughs> Bring your feet wide. We'll do it here. So slide your right hand down your right leg. And then slide your left hand down your left leg. What can we do with the left arm? So as I reach, no. Oh yes, bring your hand to the side of your rib cage as you lean to the other direction. So as I reach my left hand, I bring my right hand to the rib cage or my waist. It just feels very supportive of the movement. I'm going sideways, a coordination again. Now we're gonna twist. So bring your left hand to the right foot, bring the right hand again to your waist left right hand to the left foot and just begin to travel it's been a while since we've done a wide angle one and i can feel it in my inner thighs and the deep of my belly they're going oh we don't do this <laughs> nice now we're gonna do i don't know what name i call this Saw, I think it's saw, yes, and I do sound effects. So take your right hand and then your elbows high and then you dive down towards the baby toe on the left. So my right arm is high and I go and I try and glide towards the baby toe side of my foot and then lift the left elbow high and then down. And so there's this sense of really following this up line and then a down dive. Elbow rises and then elbow rises. You can do sound effects too if you wish. <laughs> Moving, really enjoying the movement of your body. And remember, it shouldn't look like me. You should look like you. <laughs> be you it's really wonderful one more time each side nice great from here bring your hands either side of the right thigh and just see if you can lift your right leg up and down it might be a fish movement might be a lift i'm going to do it 10 times two three four five six seven eight oh don't give up no 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 keep going <laughs> nine ten other side point your left foot hands either side of your left thigh nella i know you hate this keep going you can do this <laughs> one two three four five six keep going it's okay seven fish flop eight nine and ten and just for fun because it's almost a solstice point into both feet and try and lift both feet off the floor so it might be a kick it might be that you just kind of slap your knees on the floor it might be that you lift one two three four five keep going six whatever you're doing seven <laughs> eight nine ten cool bring the soles of your feet together pause I'm rising through your spine feel all of that movement <laughs> so yum <laughs> oh so lovely so bring both hands forward and then twist towards the right so i'm holding on to the right knee with the left hand I'm just finding my breath in the deep of my belly. Nice. Bring both hands forward, twist in the other direction, holding on to your left knee with your right hand, twisting.
and then coming back to center. So coming into a cross-legged position or whatever way you want to bring your legs, you can sit onto the floor, you can lie on the floor. <laughs> so bring your palms forward, face, uh, palms are face up. And so I'm gonna do more of a seaweed dancing version of the offering. So do whatever offering it is into the space before you that pulls on the strings of your heart. I'm rising with my seaweed arms and then I'm dropping with my seaweed arms. I'm dragging one hand behind me. I'm really allowing more movement into my torso actually as I do this. How would you make it an offering? So as I pass in front of me, my palm is starting to roll upwards as an offering of something. Nice, now I'm doing double-handed, same something. One more time. Pause with your palms forward. So as you offer, it's a bit like coming to a potluck. When you bring a pot of food, you offer something. But because everybody else has also bought, brought a pot of food, then you have a feast of many different things. So right now, as you offer, it's a bit like potluck of the tribe. So as you offer yourself, all the other people in this tribe have also done this. And so you get to receive all of that too. So as you offer, Welcome and receive. Feel the connection, the support. Gather that in and nourish yourself with that connection. Pausing, I'm going to bring my hands to my heart. I just really want to rest in wonder and in gratitude for all of you. So find the deep winter in you right now. So for me, there's this like falling deeply inwards. It's this feeling of dropping in to the deep of me. It's this longing, almost like for hibernation as I turn inwards. Really beautiful. Mm -hmm, nice. How wonderful. So in this deep winter, what kind of projects do you have kind of lined up for your deep winter? I have a stack of books about um, regulating in nature and somatic stuff that I'm like, oh, they're just beside my couch there. And I have this drawing idea in my head where I'm like, I'd love to draw this thing that I keep imagining in my head. And then, yeah, I want to garden. I want to get out there and kind of feel the earth and pull and clear and tidy up all the stuff that just gets thrown around in the summertime. Yeah, and then I want to light candles and sit in front of the fire and feed puppies. <laughs> um, so what's your plan? What's your strategy for this time, the next 10, uh, 10 days that we're not here together? But also just like that transition of deep winter. So nice. I will see you tomorrow for the solstice. Oh, so wonderful. I think it's my favorite day of the year. Yeah, I think it, it feels like it, like something deep in me resonates with the, with the solstice, the winter solstice. So I'll talk to you about that tomorrow. Um, so be well. Deepen and connect to the winter in you. And I will see you tomorrow. Um, it is such a pleasure to be here. Um, potluck tribe of offering. I like it. Cool. Ciao, ciao.